I choose Philippines to live because I love this country for its kindness and uh, very, the people are very grateful here, okay? And I spent uh, over six years here in the Philippines and I think I achieved something here, you know? And I am, um, like I did a few exhibitions here, the solo exhibition at the Congress of the Philippines, at the Cultural Center of the Philippines and other places, okay? And now we are doing first a Russian ball here in the Philippines. I want to bring Philippines, the, the Philippine society, the flavor of Russia. Because in Russia we have great tradition to make Russian imperial balls. Of course it's very grand. Today we do only first and uh, next year it will be supposed to be the CCP at the cultural center of the Philippines and of course it will be very grand. So, mm -hmm. I'm very happy that I'm here during the President Duterte time. It's finally the best time for our relation between our countries and I'm very very happy to be friend of his niece Fema Duterte who is now executive director of Nayong Filipino and she will be present here on the first ball today. I hope so, yes. That's why I'm here, to tighten it more and more and more. That's why uh, we give, uh, Russian ball gives awards, award for uh, Filipino-Russia friendship actually, will be given by ambassador today, and it's a bronze award uh, with the symbol of the ball, Russian uh, bronze butterfly. It will give given to outstanding Filipinos who help Russian relation, relation with Russia. I think your president, um, outstanding man, I'm, it's my dream to meet him and I hope to write a book on him because uh, he has kind of Russian soul and Filipino soul very similar and uh, I understand what he, he, he does for country. But my favorite dimension of my professional job of course is the cultural one, simply because Cultural ties, they never separate different nations. They can only unite different countries, different peoples. And that's why I love culture. I love the cultural dimension of my diplomatic job. So I sincerely wish all of you a wonderful evening. And uh, please consider this evening as an opportunity to learn a bit more about a very rich Russian culture. A culture which can and should be a bridge of friendship and partnership between our two nations. Thank you very much. And now he will award the friends of Russia who help uh, Russian art, Russian culture in the Philippines. I, I would like to talk two words about the uh, award. Is it a strong culture with the butterfly on the top as a symbol of the Philippine summer? and the snowflake on the bottom as a symbol of the winter Moscow in Russia. Okay, and uh, that's the bronze award to the thank for the people who help us. Can we request the deputy speaker to remain on stage, please? Recognition and award. Two words from Honorable yes. Deputy Speaker of the House Representative. Two words from Russia, Ambassador. And uh, to all of them who are here right now, it is of course a very, a very much appreciated the this bronze uh, statue. What do you call this? Bronze, uh, bronze butterfly, and it's made of course with loving care from uh, our uh, renowned artist Miss Natalia. I'm very thankful and thankful. Good evening, gentlemen. Okay. Happy birthday, Miss Natalia, Mr. Ambassador, Mom Deputy Speaker, to all of you here. I take this very seriously. The invitation for Natalia because she is very good, a very good friend. And to all of you, I have here, I prepared my message to my Okay. I am pleased and honored and humbled in accepting this award tonight from my Russian friends who admired and respected me so much, and so I do for them. 
A very special thanks to Ms. Natalia Monsova for this award. My salute to all my fellow awardees that have made huge contributions to the promotion of culture and arts, business between Philippines and Russia, and most of all, our ties of warm friendship. As I commenced my work as Executive Director of Lion Filipino Foundation, I have now the pleasure and opportunity to obtain better understanding of the cultural community of Russia, the cultural arts that could be part of our Filipino community, as well as to encourage business support for the arts of our country. This is an exciting moment for all of us. We learn to work with each other, to recognize the importance of our cultures and arts to the success of each other. To respect to tourism and economic development, I applaud all of you for being a very artistic and creative people. You have reinvented yourselves and your organizations. May we all continue to work together, nurture and help one another to grow the unique Philippines culture, a creative, friendly place to live, work, and do business. Art is a nation's most precious heritage. It is in our very works of art that we reveal ourselves to the others, the inner vision which guides us a whole nation. Thank you once again, and my heartfelt birthday greetings to this beautiful, gorgeous Natalia Brunsova. Mabuhay and long live Philippines and Russia friendship. Good evening. Can you request the under secretary and executive director of the ball in the CCP? Evening. Am I all right? Can you hear me? Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you very much and happy birthday, Natalia. And uh, occasions like this, you know, uh, bring or strengthens the relationship between Russia and the Philippines. And probably it's a good time for me also to announce that uh, we are due for a world conference in Moscow in August 20 to 24 this year. Uh, we have the World uh, International University Theatre Association. We have a preliminary meeting in Urbino, Italy, and we are bringing a group theatre to Russia in August 20 to 24 of this year. So looking forward to that uh, uh, conference. Thank you very much. Can we request Director Nick DeSanto to please stay on stage? Thank you. On stage, the founder of Peace Post. I, just, I, I think I must speak in Russian in Dobrovice and Privyet. Uh, That's all I know. Um, the reason why I, I can speak a little bit is um, my other half is from Russia as well. So. It's deep in my heart. Russia is a lovely country, and um, ever since I met with uh, Natalia and all my beautiful friends, and Philippines is actually like my second country. Uh, although I don't live here, I spend a lot of time here from time to time, uh, promoting a lot of uh, activities in the health and medical area. And we're about to do a a, um, uh, a forum in Davao, in the Davao city and will be also helping a lot in the women's health and I think what I can do is to contribute my knowledge and uh, in health um, to the Philippines and also to promote peace and I think tonight is a wonderful occasion and we've got good friends especially a dear friend of mine I met back in 1979 um, and when you get older um, money is not everything when you're younger, you need your car, you need your beautiful houses and you know material things. But when you get a bit older, all you need is good friends. And tonight I'm in good company amongst good friends and new friends and old. And I have to say, my family is also here, and I'm very happy. And my birthday is actually not today. My birthday is on Christmas Day. And Natalia rang me up. Why don't we do a co-joint birthday? 
and here I am. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Evening. Thank you. And now we can take the birthday. Happy birthday to you.